Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be looking at how to get your statistics out of Flojo. Now you'll see I already have my data here fully gated and analyzed, so we're not going to go through any gate creation. Today, we're going to look at how to get the statistics out of your data in a format that you can use to graphically plot them in other softwares. So to do this, we're going to use the table feature. So that's this little grid up here or the table editor over here. So when you click on that, you'll see I already have a number of things already populated into my table as I've analyzed this file already, but let's just start by creating a new table. So to add columns, you'll simply go over to the edit tab. And here you can click add column. And from here, you'll have the full list of the various statistics that you can pull out. Um, so generally speaking, people will want the percentage or the frequency of parent. So say I want to know the frequency of my CD3 T cells. I'd simply go here, click frequency of parent, and look at the CD3 positive cells and OK. So that will put then this statistic onto my table for every sample that I have in the workspace or whichever group that I want to analyze. So when this table comes out then, the name on the top of the column will be whatever is in this population. So if you want a name that means something more to you, you can go over to this name box and simply type in whatever you want to call it. So let's call this CD3 T cells. And actually just to denote, let's go percent CD3 T cells. Now, if I also want to know the MFI of this population, I could go up here, add column, take my median of my CD3 positive cells, on my, where did we go? CD3 stain. And there we go. I would here have then my MFI CD3 positive. So you'll simply then go through and add whatever statistics you want to add into this table. And once you have them all added, you're going to go back over to table editor and select the group you want to analyze. So for me right now, I'll just do workspace selection and simply click create table. Now, one thing I will note is you have various options of where this table will go. So right now I have it to show up just as a display. You can also change to output this directly to a printer, to a specific file, if you say want to open it in Excel, or you can have it go to your clipboards. So you can copy and paste it wherever you want. So because this is a fairly, fairly simple table, just to show you what it's going to look like, we'll put it on to display and click create table. And then in here, you'll see we'll have all of the samples. So every sample that I have in my workspace, the percent gated in that gate, as well as the MFI for that population. And that right there is the quick and easy way to get your statistics out of Flojo so that you can use them in other software. Thanks for tuning in. And like always, if you have any questions or comments, or if there is a topic you would like covered, please leave it down in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And with that, we'll see you in the next one.